So everybody's starting to freak out now because we all have to do the rehearsal. Shoes on, thank you. We're using every second to do Sorry guys, we need my the girls. Hair. You see? Hello guys! My name is Isabelle Fontana and I'm getting ready to go to Off-White Show. So come join me, I'm gonna get ready. I'm from Brazil and I live between Sao Paulo and New York. I'm gonna do some green tea because I'm like suffering jet lag right now. 12 years old, I was a kid. <laughs> 13 years old, I, I began um, modeling and I had no idea what I was gonna face. And my crazy life started, <laughs> basically. When you're a teenager, you know how it is. It's a crucial moment for you to be with a family, to feel stronger and to, you know, to feel loved. And if you're in this business so young, it can hurt your feelings because we don't know how not to take personally, right? I would go to castings, they would look my pictures, and then I feel like, oh my God, did they like me? Did they like me? And then when I look back, they were like putting my card in the garbage. I felt like, you know what? I'm in the wrong business. Maybe I should do something else. Yeah, I was asked to take my top off to do, you know, breast showing pictures and I said, no, I was like, why are you asking me that, you know, and I was like terrified. Okay, let's think about the good side because it made me really strong. Today I feel I am matured, I am stronger, I felt like I needed to take care of my own self. You don't understand when you're young that you feel like the other people need to ac accept you and love you, but it actually it's the opposite. It's like you have to accept yourself and love yourself first. This is my look. <laughs> Just natural and boyish. That's what I like. I am crazy with these boots. Bikers, but sexy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I bet you've never seen a supermodel doing a yoga pose in heels before the show. This is my favorite place in Paris. Bonjour, can I have a hot chocolate please? Do you guys want? I think you should have. Have some. Mm. It's to die or to live. So we're in Paris now, it's Paris Fashion Week. And I remember when I used to do like 10 shows per day here, oh my God, I was crazy. I had no time to eat. Going to feedings like until five in the morning and then having to be ready at seven for hair and makeup in the backstage was crazy. I was like very tired. Models these days, they are more taken care of, you know. In my time, I, I had no place to say, oh, that person did that to me, or that person did that to me. So I took all in. <laughs> That's why I'm strong. <laughs> and I'm a mom. When I became a mom, everybody thought my career was gonna be done. I was like, this is, I'm just starting, you know? Of course, I was 19 when I first had my first baby, <laughs> you know? I would be like breastfeeding and doing shows, and I would, I would just pump off my milk. When I was, while I was like in the backstage. Being a mom at such a young age really transformed my life. Other things are much more important to think about it, you know. You can't just break down and cry for like such a small thing. Oh, I didn't do that pose well. Oh my God, they took my picture. Oh, did I say something wrong? No, look at it as like, you make mistakes and it's okay. Just take care of yourself and care yourself, you know, and be like, it's fine. Next time I'll do better, that's all. Sometimes it's so hard to make a decision, like between your family and a work. And when you say no, it's a lot of consequences. Like for instance, I was preparing my, uh, my son's birthday party. It was like a big party for him. I got confirmed for a crazy good job that I couldn't do it. I was like, I can't make it. And I never got to work with those people again. Can you imagine that? It's a huge consequence. 
One day I came to Paris, like a couple of years ago, and I got confirmed for a couple of shows, and I got confirmed for a huge show, so I canceled the other ones, right? The other ones were gonna pay for my hotel, we're gonna pay my flight fare and stuff. But then I said, you know what? I'm gonna cancel all of them, and I'm just gonna do this magical show. And then I was doing the fitting, I did the makeup test, and I was really excited, it was gonna be a huge show. And then at the last minute, they called my agent at like 4 a.m. The show was gonna be like 7 a.m. call time. They canceled me from the show, and I broke down and cried. I was like devastated. That was it. I was like, oh, it's not easy, you know? That's why you need to really support yourself and be happy with yourself and trust yourself. I'm super late. Hi. Easy, 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 easy. Okay. Here we go. Energy, energy, energy. <laughs> this is my friend, Maria Carla, Italian. I did her makeup so I cannot be filmed. <laughs> Look at this venue. This is the stadium thing. Look who's there. Hi, how are you? How are good you? to see you. No, good to are see you. Good? good, good. Thanks yes. for joining. Okay. Have you seen the set yet? Oh my god, yeah. I'm just shocked. It's pretty wild and grand. Good. I'm so fortunate. You know, I'm You're so excited. It's a pleasure to have you. It's going to be a good night. I have to go to hair and makeup because they're going to do the rehearsal now. Guys, we have to send them to rehearsals now, okay? They need to get their shoes, all right? This is a killer. Let's do yoga on this. <laughs> okay. It's a lot going on. Hi, Carly! How are you? I'm so good. How are your boys? You're not a mom yet, right? No, not <laughs> yet. Because we said it feels good. Oh my god. How are you? Are you doing good? Yeah. How's your daughter? 19. Wow. Oh gonna be 17. It's crazy now. Constantine, stay on your position. Everybody go! Thank you! This is the start for Off-White Runaway Show. I always like to just be like energy, God's energy, and here we go. I walk super strong. That's how I like myself. Walk with confidence, and you're giving yourself to it. You're here. I got this. I can do it. Fierce, strong, and never forget your pace. So this is the most important moment when the model walks to the photographer and it's gonna be in the Vogue runaway. And that's how you walk like supermodel. This is my seventh season working with Virgil on Off-White and I love working with them because they push the boundaries and I like to push the boundaries as well. So good at it. Me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So guys, you have three more minutes, then we have to dress the girl for the shooting. We have only three minutes to get the makeup done. I don't think that's possible. And I'm here, very zen. Just clean up a little bit here and under the eye, and then send her to the city. And then line up, so we need to go. Okay, I have to get into my look and I'll see you in a second. And this is my look, what do you think? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Touch, yeah. Touch me, touch me, touch me. Touch me. <laughs>
Good job, team. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you, Vogue. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes.